All right. Now, most of us have heard about Joseph Smith's Bible translation for most of our life. The goal of this video is to maybe clarify what we mean by translation and what Joseph uh, may or may not be doing as he's translating the Bible. And I hope that in understanding what Joseph's doing with the Bible, that can help you and I know a little bit better about what you and I are supposed to do with the Holy Scriptures themselves. So, you ready? Here we go. If you look at the chronology of events, uh, first vision, Moroni gets the plates, translates the plates, receives the priesthood, organizes the church in April of 1830, and then one of the very next things that Joseph begins to do in the summer of 1830, so just a few months after the church is organized, is Joseph begins to translate the Bible. That goes to show that this is one of the earliest foundational works of the church and of Joseph Smith's life. And it's, it's just a, a massive undertaking. It's an audacious undertaking when you think about it. This unlearned, unschooled farm boy who has no ancient language and biblical training is going to take the text that has established America and most of Western civilization and say, I have the prophetic gifts and authority to interpret and translate this text. Wow. Amazing. Let's talk about why God may have done that with him and what we learn from it. Joseph probably began to learn that there were things that were missing from the Bible while he translated the Book of Mormon. In 1 Nephi chapter 13, verse 29, he learns that many plain and precious things had been removed that caused people to err uh, because of it. 